Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. Hi. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Be a bit more enthusiastic, Kirsty. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's Monday night, so we're playing. Uh, we're playing a let's play. We're doing Metal Gear Solid Two. It's our first. Uh, well, we had a we had a previous recording, but it went all wrong. So we're doing this live. If there's any problems, uh, let us know. Um, we'll kick off with it. We we played like an hour of it, but it took me about two minutes to get to the same place than the time I played it through again. Like afterwards. Anyway, so we are where we are. We're right at the beginning of Metal Gear Solid Two. So we're going to be watching all of the cutscenes and everything else again. Um, yes. So, new game, uh, Tanker Plant, because uh, again, if um, people aren't aware, uh, there are two parts to Metal Gear Solid 2, the tanker and the plant, and the tanker is where you play Metal Gear Solid, uh, hang on, it's where you play as Snake, not as Metal Gear Solid, idiot, um, uh, and, what? Sorry, I've just noticed something, you haven't got a kill counter on. Oh, I haven't got the kill oh. counter on. No. Good call. I cannot continue without that. How's that? Um, we are, we are going to need it, obviously, aren't we? There you go. We are yeah. going to need it, yes. <laughs> we did several times in that last little go. Ugh, <laughs> uh, it's great. Yeah, the tanker plan, the, sorry, the tanker part is only like the introductory chapter. The real game is the plan. Um, and it changes to Ryan, which everyone totally wet their pants over, but not in a good way, in, a, in an angry, wet your pants kind of way. <laughs> I don't know, that probably doesn't work, does it? Angrily wetting your pants. <laughs> <laughs> they they got angry. That's the main point. Anyway, so we're going to play the tanker plant. Um, I've just turned us off the stream, by the way, because I was getting lots of audio clipping and stuff. So I think I don't think I can stream at the same time. So can you apologise to uh, to Biggs? Uh, I think there's only Biggs in there at the mo. But anyway, so yes, as to continue, there are two parts, as as Sam's just said, and we're going to do them both. Uh, normal, I think. Just uh, yeah, we were having some um, just having some audio clicking issues, and it may be it may be present on the uh, on the recording earlier on, but hopefully I'll sort it out now. Right. Um, so uh, intrusion view. I forgot this. Intrusion view is what they call when you know when you're crawling through a duct or something, and it goes into first person mode. Yeah. That's intrusion view. So I think it's basically saying that you know when you're going through vents or in a locker or something. Uh, then the radar will not be on, whereas in Type 1 it will be. So, I guess that's personal preference. I wouldn't just have it on as much as possible. Yeah, why not? You're not going to punish me for not having it on, is it? No, not really. This story is fictional. Oh, I love that. It's a true story. I know, I love that. It's like, it is, it's, on, based, really? it's based on uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> history. No, it's in River, two years ago. That's history from my childhood. My mum was very much into Lord of the Rings and the whole thing stank, everything geeky. But our noses have been out in the cold too long. A little bit of reverb on there as well on his voice. Stylish. I loved. I loved this in the uh, the demo. This whole section it just it just got me a little bit moist. I never played the demo. Do you know what I did? I I bought the game before I had a PlayStation Two. Nice. I went, it's like, I've got to get Metal Gear Solid 2, then I'll work out the console later. <laughs> and then I did get one, but I had the game for a couple of weeks before I got the console to play it on. What an idiot. Not necessarily. <laughs> I was very excited for it, let's put it that way. Yeah, so, uh, did, have you? I wasn't really listening when you were doing that um, rambling earlier. Were, were you, did you explain the bait and switch thing? Yeah, it's a little bit. I basically said that the plan chapter is Raiden's... Thing, but it's also where the vast majority of the game takes place as well. The tanker is strictly like introductory, really. Uh, I mean, obviously, we played it for quite a long time. But you can bash through this whole section really quick. Like, yeah, I, I, I said earlier on, and not today, a couple of days ago, I skipped through all of the cutscenes and uh, went straight into the tanker and pretty much got to where we were were in yeah. about 15, 15 minutes, maybe at the most. So in an hour's worth of gaming, there's 45 minutes of yeah, cutscenes and 15 minutes of playable game. Um, that that's a pretty accurate representation of Metal Gear Solid games, I think, in general. However, remember I did die a lot. Yeah, there was there was actually more gameplay than that. Oh, you weren't there, there were you, Steve? No, uh, there was lots of uh, just getting seen by bad guys and getting yeah. shot a lot. Getting used to the control system, not like hitting a door instead of instead of opening it, you know, etc. Yeah, etc. 
Chris was revolver shot a lot. <laughs> revolver hey, shot a lot. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Have you just been looking? Because uh, yeah, uh, I think I think Lou's feeling a little bit inadequate because he doesn't know the Metal Gear Solid series as well as he knows quite a lot of other things, and he's 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 looking up puns online. No, I was going to say tired of pun writing. Tired of writing stuff. Ah, so actually, they had the game. So here's Solid Snake, and he's got the stealth camo on. Um, that's why he's slightly sort of predator looking. But then when he lands, for some reason. It breaks, so you haven't got the stealth camo in the game. But is even the stealth he camo stored in his shoe? Uh, it's stealth camo as they display it. It's like a, uh, if you get when you got it in your item screen, you get it on bonus playthroughs. It looks like oh, a little. Yeah, I got it. Like, oh, this is it looks like a, like it's a, a belt or something. Echoings of um, Terminator there. On that intro that sequence. Like the, yeah, the Terminator uh, intro. You hear like. Doof, 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 doof. So maybe that's what it is, maybe the explanation is that it just broke when he landed there. They got wet. It was already wet in the rain though before, wasn't it? It broke when he landed. Uh, is, is he ginger? Oh boy. He's, he's I reckon he is underneath underneath all that black hair. I reckon he is a ginger. He is, man. You can tell by his beard underneath. Yeah. <laughs> My beard, when it grows, has got a bit of ginger in it though, and I've got one. Mine has, but thankfully on camera it does look ginger. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does look really good in comparison to the first one, but it's still his face oh, is like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like t t today's models, they're all the face, faces moving, their eyes, all the little muscles in their everything. Funnily enough, they do try to have some facial expressions in this game, but they do still look a little bit porcelain doll esque. Yeah. They all at the same time, but it's like they were making an effort, and this is this is an early game for that generation of consoles as well. And obviously this is, well, again, forgot to mention, but this is the Snake. HD remake. Do I do keep card? wafting this around Land in front of my camera. Snake. But um, yeah, so we're playing the, the PS3 board. classic Everything HD okay? Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Classics HD. Sorry, in 720p, so it's not that good, is it? Rubbish. Rubbish, set it off. You're such a resolution snob. Well, you have to You have to be if you're a gamer, in some respect. Shut up, you. Calling me a snob about anything, ever. Lou's got a new present today, by the way. Well, not a new present, he's got a new toy. She... She... Someone will find out. Are you not going to reveal it? Or are you going to play with it first and then uh, reveal it? You don't want to. You don't want to see it. Let anyone else see it. Yeah. Come on, I've got to mention it now. You have to at least show people it. It's his new lunchbox. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of the year. Not yeah, no one cares, see? No one cares. Even if there was like a hundred people in the channel, I'll be going. Light on the light! It's a waste of time, the Oculus Rift. It's just gonna, it's just gonna fail. Anyway, what's going on, Sam? Anti Metal Gear vehicle. What the <coughs> hell is one Right, of so, yeah, so basically the new Metal Gear is supposed to be able to defeat the Metal Gear Rex from the last game. Because what's Metal Gear all the, basically the Sandro Moses incident went public. Or at least sort of public, because there's loads of shit that, like, <coughs> public don't know about. Yeah, but given that the last <laughs> Metal Gear was beaten by a guy. <laughs> yeah, come on, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You just have to suspend your disbelief with that kind of thing. It's not just any guy, it's Solid Snake. He's a clone of the best soldier soldier on the planet. Yeah. Train so by... Why don't just the best soldier on the planet to kill him at the game? Because he was already dead by that point. <laughs> that's why... That's why there's a big hoo-ha about Big Boss, because he's dead, but everyone wants a piece of him, even though he's already dead. And that's also part of the war. ...anti-metal gear organization, and a Officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. So yeah, just, uh, just to remind you. Snake, yeah, Otacon and Snake have uh, organized a group called Philanthropy. Right, let's look and they're just here. basically an anti-Metal Gear group. And this is just a reconnaissance mission to look at the Marines' F new M9. Metal Gear model. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since or the slide is it? locks. Ooh, and the tranquilizer gun. This is the way you can get your no kill playthrough. The chemical stun um, will take effect in a few seconds and last the tranquilizer is not the most exciting gun by any stretch of the imagination, but it is like the elitist Metal Gear Solid weapon. Ground will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. 
Because I'm sh instantly showing you some of the, the mintness check. in the new engine. Been able to quickly. blow lights out. Hey, snake, cigarettes? What's wrong with I, you? All the stuff like <laughs> the physics of this charm. game did actually you blow my mind a little bit when I first played it. All the detail you. of everything in it as well. Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Well, this one's got Wi-Fi built in, so you can automatically sync to your social networks. Yeah. Oh, there was no such thing as a social <laughs> network back then. <laughs> Was, that's what he's on the radio sense. with. That's a military social network. Uh, the codec. They don't yeah. look armed. Hey, yeah, codec friend. Net. Snake. These are nice, upstanding marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Shoot I like how he says you're in stealth mode here. It's like snakes are always in stealth mode. Way, yeah. All running you know underneath the tank. <laughs> Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces. Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Look at that Otacon showing off then. Oh, I'm miles yeah. better than NASA or whatever. And, uh, the thing is, though, he says no traces, but I'm NASA. pretty sure later on that he, he totally has <laughs> Why not traced. I don't know. It's just a big organization that had an acronym for a name. Yeah, I'm sure there's something weird goes on later, doesn't it? He's, when you ha there, is a, yeah. there is a hacking moment in this. Yeah, I remember the room you go into. Yeah. Uh, ever, ever in. It's in there, no doubt about it. But yeah, I mean, in terms of the fidelity from the last one, if you have uh, if you guys have come straight from watching the final battle of Metal Gear Solid 1 that we did a, few, a week ago, um, and looking straight at this, you can instantly see the, the quality improvement. Even if you kind of take away the HD layer, you know, there's still a massive improvement to it. It does look very nice. I think um, Sam pointed out before that the snakes, uh, he's got his turbo mullet, but he's also got Ooh. like a floppy... Sorry. Bandana on? Yeah. Ooh, action is happening. The Marines are getting... Shift! Shift. Stabby, Shift. stab, 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 stab. <laughs> oh, by some nefarious blokes in brown BDUs. Short Shift. nefarious blokes as well. You see how small he was in comparison to the Marine? They're, They're walking, walking in stealth like mode. They're doing that slightly crouchy <laughs> stealth walk <laughs> thingy. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were in the wrong camp mode for attacking a ship, aren't they, really? If there's some yeah. trees about, it'd be fine. I, I don't... yeah. Again, this is one of those computer game things where it's probably like, well, we have to decide the soldiers so that they clearly stand out against the background for the player. You know, so they gave them brown uniforms. <laughs> they're, all wearing, they're all wearing brown uniforms on the, uh, on the plant as well, apart from the guys... Some of the guys inside are wearing grey ones, I think. Yeah. But the plant's like a brownie orange colour anyway, so it kind of is a bit different when you get there. You sure? No marine barber touched that <laughs> head of hair. <laughs> Look how solid snake goes where this one's from based bitchy. on their hair. Though. Yeah, bit of weird distinction there. Oh, oh yeah, definitely Russian now. <laughs> now he's got a hat on. A fedo is it a fedo not a fedora? <laughs> and the, uh, and the, Russian, the Russian choir started singing when he showed his face like oh, <laughs> So he's definitely from Russia, isn't he? <laughs> Have you guys... Um, has anybody else here apart from me seen Pacific Rim, by the way? Just yeah, yeah. Just reminds me of that. Well, when, the, when, the Russian, when the Russians come in, it's like... <laughs> like Russian music. So big. <laughs> the whole film is, is just... I'm full of smiles the entire film, actually. I thought it was really yeah, good. It's a really enjoyable film, yeah. But most of the people I showed it to thought it was a bit alright. I loved it. I was like shaking kind of when I watched it. I was like... Not necessarily. Yeah, I got it, it on Blu-ray as soon as it came out. I was like, I want to watch this again. Model. Look, anyway. Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow oh. the whole thing wide open. Mm. So no pyrotechnics, oh. okay? Mm. Alright, I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency is one four one. Isn't it like Shadow one, Moses? Two. It seems very How similar. How can I check in and save It is my pretty progress. similar, isn't it? It's a, it is. There's a frequency I think he's like the snake. One four zero point nine six. Get Metal Gear. Steve. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. He seems to have sorted his hair out a bit. Who, Otacon? Otacon, yeah, he hasn't got that yeah. kind of, like, <laughs> boof on thing going on anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sorry. I'm just deleting something on YouTube that I scheduled that I, uh, forgot about. Anyway, right, so yes. Right, off we can. So you're actually playing on the PS3, 
progress. Yes, I'm on the PS3. So you, got my PS3 so you've pad. Got no excuses in. for controls or for no. the emulator not working properly. No, I did have this one is... one control issue before. Yeah. Which was. Oh, look at him, he's all pro with it now, like. <laughs> um, I, I, so, I came out of a corner I shouldn't have come out of. You like this, Steve? So let's talk about this then. Shit. So you can hold up guards in this game. Oh, what happened there? He stopped it. Shit. So why did you get the alert? You had him held up. I know. Here we go. That's what you get for dicking about. Fucking hell, honestly. There was no well, need for any of that. A pretty big part of the game. You can get the dog that is collectible items, the dog tag to the soldiers that you can get. And when you get um, enough of them, you get the stealth camo and you get the unlimited ammo bandana and things like that, depending on how many dog tags you pick up in the game. Okay, now I didn't know that was here, this little secret area. Hey. Is that the infiltration camp mode? Thing? Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's what I mean, so goes, this is when you can move in first person when you're in intrusion view, like, basically when you're crawling under something. Yeah, that was, that was not, not, that was unneeded, that. I was looking over there at you guys though. <laughs> What's uh, doing? Maybe it? you turned, Maybe did you want to equip your gun or something? No, I don't, I don't think so. We'll see anyway, on the Chris, stream, won't we? Chris just held up a guy. Well, I'm sure he'll do it again. But yeah, you can hold up enemies and shake them down for items as well, not just the dog tags, but um, uh, like rations or bullets or whatever they might have on them. To be honest, they shake themselves down really, don't they? Yeah, you make them shake by pointing <laughs> the gun at their groin or their head. Oh, it works on the head as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They do the same dance. It's just Chris is naturally going to go to the groin, isn't he? It's his first <laughs> thought. Whatever he counts as a new man, it's like have a look at his groin. <laughs> Chris uses See? his See? ass as well. He's not even going to pretend to go to the head. He's just going to go to the groin every time. Of course. <laughs> it's the only way forward. Yeah, that little jiggle is quite funny. I think. Yeah. There we go. Soz, mate. So you make him dance for you until he gives you something. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, were you a bully at school? I was, yes. Proud of it too, <laughs> obviously. Uh, no, I was also bullied quite a lot. Yeah, they used to make us dance until you give them something. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good because of the beard, sorry. I reckon if you jumped out there, you'd probably knock him out if you landed on him, but he's gone. Yeah. Is he good up the steps though? Don't think so. I like the little touch as well as obviously when you see in this view, you can see the, the movement of the boat up and down on the water. How it's like moving, it's doing it all the time. You see how it's going up and down. Yeah. All the little details. Freeze. <gasps> Freeze. They want to take your books away. <gasps> I won't be doing this with everybody by the way, but. <laughs> you did last time! <coughs> yeah, and there in like, lay the problem, I guess, you know. <laughs> did you already got this guy, mate? No. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't got his dog tags, like. I don't think every <laughs> every single one of them has a dog tag. Alright, he'll That's do. That's the weird thing, like, there's... Not there's punching the door this stuff. time. I've practiced and I know it's triangle. <laughs> well done. Right then. So yeah, we're going to the top of the ship as well, not down to the engine room like I thought we were last time. So yeah, I think you want to go uh, actually through that door you just saw. That. Oops. <laughs> Punch locker is dead. Let's just quickly show the uh, viewers this thing that we uh, <laughs> saw last oh, week. Oh god. <laughs> That is... A bit wrong. That sound effect is a bit... It's yeah. not kissing, is it? It's just... that That's... That's squelching. Yeah, it's definitely got some squelch What's on it. What's squelching in, though? I'm not sure. I don't really... I don't really want to continue the conversation. A still flashlight. A slash light. A slash light. <laughs> right, that'll do. So you're saying we go out of here? Uh, so it's uh, to your right. Which was the door you came in? Was it the door that you came this, in from the north? This one here. I came in... Oh, I don't know. You came in that... that was, if you go, if you that go to the there. north. 
All right, so if you go to the north of here, basically up on your radar, I think it's this one you want. No, this, oh, no, I remember doing this before. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you did. No, right, he just puts it, nonchalantly puts it back as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a crap ship. This is meant to be run by Marines. What are they playing at? Oh, obviously, there's some maintenance that needs to be done. Indeed. Huh? I was going to do something satirical about how much the US spends on defence, but oh, I can't believe it. Also, there's a bit of a musical upgrade in this game. They got a um, real Hollywood composer, Harry Gregson Williams, to do the music. Fuck off! I was like, <laughs> missed him. <laughs> he kicked it through the wall. What happened there? Did he see your wet footprints or something? He must have done. Yeah, because you got if you come in from outside, you've got wet footprints for a few minutes whilst you're inside. They do stop after a while. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, the guards can see him and come and get you. Yeah. Blazing through. <sighs> so through this little bar area and up those stairs in the middle and yep. to the right, I think. I'm trying to remember. Like it, like it, like it. Oh, 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 no <laughs> that was tactical espionage, that. Action. Wasn't so much action. The action comes a bit later. Still a great looking game. I, I love the consistency of the style of the game. Yeah. Yeah, it all fits together quite like cohesively. Oh. Yeah. Is that what you do when you when you fall unconscious? Make that noise. Um, only when I'm shot in the back of the head. With the tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing there? I'm trying to pick the bastard up. There we go. Hey. Stick him in a locker. Can you open lock as well? No, you have to let him go and then open the locker. Then if you just move <laughs> around so that you're backed into the locker, you'll put him in. Yeah. There you go. Already there. You would you were saying it as I was now, doing it. See, the, you know the Articon said earlier that the tranquilizer would put an elephant to sleep for hours. Right, it won't. It won't <laughs> put a man to sleep for more than a few minutes. Um, but I believe if you put somebody in a lock-up and they're tranquilised, I don't think they wake up. I think it's like a little sort of slight glitchy exploit thing. I could be wrong about it. <coughs> put them in a lock and they go to sleep eternal. Yeah. They're not dead, but they're not. They're certainly not going to bother you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I thought I had my gun he's out. Not, I don't think he's unconscious either. No, he isn't. <laughs> no, he's running up again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, he's brilliant. Da, da, da. Oh, <laughs> In your face, Russians! <laughs> That's all, Ruskies. all Russians. Oh, hello. I think like... let's camera. Shit. Oh, mate. This is gonna be good, isn't it? That was ninja style. That, that was no scoping. Chaff grenades. Yeah. God, the music in this game is class. Now, is he gonna? Is he gonna come no, have a look? I, I think you'd be all right. I'd just go up. I was you. Just keep going. There's no one on your radar. They might as well just go oh, it's a it. camera. I thought there was a dude there, but it's not. It's a camera. Yeah, yeah. Go up. Yeah, up the stairs. I reckon. Just keep going forwards. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not many enemies, then. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, back into the locker you go. <laughs> or just round here. I don't think oh, that's because it's caution mode, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, in this game, once you're in this caution mode where, they, where it's all gone Shit. yellow, it's more guards around on patrol until it stops. Right, yeah, I think I will do that. <laughs> 
I killed the locker. Probably don't even need to get any here, to be fair, but... Oh. Being forced back in the locker reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> did I just say that out loud? You did! <laughs> and you also give us an un un uncannily, like, satisfactory uh then as well. That, that was the wrong words to use, but, yeah. Right. Should be reaped now, shouldn't I? Yeah. All of the uh, ruskies from upstairs should be gone. Or some of them, at least. When you think about it, once they know that Snake's there at all, they should be constantly on caution alert sort of mode until they find him and know he's there. Oh, you can start, you can um, do all the damage, all the realistic damage to the watermelons in here and shoot the flower and stuff and all that. All the little physical things you can do. Yay! The ultimate stealth oh. tool. Stay in your box, innit? You right. Uh, what? I think well, if you I just stay there, you, you'll be alright. Wait, I think he, um... I got the orange and the flower. <laughs> Who translated this? Is it the, the potatoes? Um, there's the melons around, but... <laughs> Has he gone to sleep? Where's he twat? Yeah, 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 that's what I say, he goes to sleep. Um... <sighs> oh, so for a second, can... though. Only for a second. Microsoft. You could just wait till he does it again and just tranquilize him and you you're good yeah. to go, aren't you? Freeze. <gasps> oh mate, get up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See what would you think if this happened to you? Did the guy just sort of lay down on the floor and awkwardly got up and ran around to the front Are of you? Are you going to shoot me? Ah, oh, this guy won't give it up, mate. He's an he's a hard ass. Alright, he's got a shoot from the balls. If you shoot it with the tranquilizer, it won't intimidate him. The only way you can intimidate those guys is to um, shoot. I think you can. I don't know if you can shoot the ground in their feet with the with the proper like assault weapon, or you can shoot them in the arm maybe with the pistol, and then he will start sh to shake for you and give you stuff. Or I can do this. Picture. Yeah, but you can't get. You can only get the dog tags by making them do the little shaky dance. That's the the, the challenge of it. And they're, like, they're the sort of the hard nut guys are the hardest ones to get because you so know you need you a get sound. Them to shake? Well, like Chris did before, you point the gun at their head or their crotch and they sort of do that. But then that guy was like, "If you're going to shoot me, just shoot me, boys." They're not yeah. doing it for you. So, so you so... damage them, you shoot the you shoot them in the arm or in the leg or something. Snake, wait. So you don't kill them, but you intimidate them. I see it. Right. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors. Right, and they're linked to. Let me guess. Semtex. No, C4. Plastic explosives. <laughs> if you trip the sensor, every, every codec. Sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past Chris, those without do setting that, off the with our screens instead. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual. Give the people method. what they want. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing oh. chemicals. Uh, so I'll do that then. I'll do what Otacon said because I didn't do it last time. Yeah. I don't, will the M9 do it though? Because it's only a tranquilizer. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Like you need to get the pistol to do this kind of stuff. She. <laughs> Maybe you can do it with the M9. I don't know. Just have a go. Shoot it. See what happens. Oh, it does work. The beams. That's the best. That's the best um, exploding fire extinguisher effect I've ever seen in a game. Normally there's blow up. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh, actually. dickhead! Oh, you <laughs> bloody. <laughs> I, I pressed the right. I pressed the right button in the wrong context then. Snake. <laughs> oh, Just the one. Well, didn't you? I did, yeah. Because I'm, I'm a knob. That's, they don't call me Chris Knob Seabock for nothing. <laughs> anyway, that's what I meant to do. Nice little crawl. <laughs> I'll just run through it like this. Let your tits fly off the Freeze. shit. <gasps> don't kill me. Yeah, the running with the weapon equipped is still a little bit awkward in this game, isn't it? 
Yeah. I'm getting used to it though, slowly. I think it's because you went on about how much better the control system was in this game. Like, you're like, it is, I've not complained about it yet, have I? You just ran through an explosive wall. Yeah, that was my fault and I, I, I held my hand up. Jesus Christ. Oh. You don't need to go in. No, I don't. So just after this was basically where we got to last time, wasn't it? Uh, Pretty you much, yeah. The boss, didn't you? Yeah, it took the fight and then um, that was more or less where we got up to. Snake's got very feminine calves. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing to notice. Yeah, he, um, he does his calisthenics or whatever. He does spin class, gives himself Pilates. Shape, yeah. yeah. I bet he bakes as well. Steak to bake. Uh. <laughs> Solid bake. Solid <laughs> bake. Solid bake. <laughs> BBC One TV show. That'd be class because the Great bake, British Snake Off. The Great <laughs> British like, but if it was Solid Steak as the Hulk, it'd be like you know, bake, bake, bake. <laughs> Meringues. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was like, what have you made today? Oh, I've made some, uh, you know, mashed potato. Potatoes. <laughs> so is this, what's the name? Self-raising flour and eggs. <laughs> that, yeah, it's uh, about to go and do the Aldra Gluka bitch fight. Olga Gorokka or Glugovitz, isn't it? Pretty important character in this game, as it turns out. Looking at it, 35 degrees longitude. You are going to do that every time. What does he More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready. He's guessing he'd not kill his rift to get like motion sickness. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project. Which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like Sean Bean's mouth. Assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Metal Gear, we've got to stop go it. Hold and locate the actual metal. Get us some Yorkshires on. It's exactly what Sean Bean says in every on every yeah. set. <laughs> Sean Bean normally says, "Please don't point that gun at me, or I'm dead." Dead. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, he's got a bit of a habit of being the sort of noble. Well, he'd sacrifice himself, dude, hasn't he? A yeah. Of Apart from, but it started well, with um, even with, uh, equilibrium, didn't it? Did it not start God, with Sharp? Sharp well, she, yeah, he stayed alive for ages in Sharp. I mean, yeah, but he died in it though. The, he did die in Sharp. Yeah, but the, uh, not every not every and uh, protagonist dies. Most uh, protagonists survive by the end, <laughs> but no, because yeah, it's Sean Bean. I felt kind of wanted to go back and watch Sharp because it was all when I was a kid, but I never really got into it. Is it any good? Is it worth having to go at? Uh, my mum was into it, I dare never watched it in any seriousness, but it's got Sean Bean in it, and it's a period thing, so, yeah. It's got a lot of fighting in it, well, it? Every, every bloke fancies Sean Bean a bit, don't they? Tell me. Oh. Yeah. Good, yeah. right. L lose on my side, at least. I could be gay for Sean Bean. I'd go gay for Riker. Riker? Yeah, sorry, that was an internet memo well back. Are you sure you can trust him? Be Riker from Star Trek Next Generation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will, Will, Will Jefferson or whatever his name is. <laughs> Ton of Jeff. Will Riker <laughs> Jefferson. Ton of Jeff. Do not worry, this is a I swear to God, the amount of times I've written Jeff McJefferson written on my little notepad at work when I've been using examples for names and. I want to still use Bob Olga's like the most, as, as far as I can t remember anyway, she's the most kind of separated of all the bosses. She doesn't really have much of a backstory or... She does go on about it a bit though, doesn't she, I, I think, say, at one she point. Just, she still fills you in on it. She's well. She's an interesting character, I guess, in terms of her significance to the overall Metal Gear lore. Um, 
Gunner, but she's not she's not in the game that much, but she is quite an important character. She's in it here, and she's in it towards the end, but there's not much in between of her really. A woman. Show your face. Woman, show you your men. face. You're all the same. Who are you? Check out those pits. Yeah. The hairy now, pits. Now wrong with that. Just dwell on them a bit though, didn't they? Yeah. Americans. <laughs> well, they took the time to, to make that part of their model, so the damn sure going to show you it. For a blonde, those are very thick, <laughs> thick curly pits. She's not thicker than she's not thicker got, than Snake's beard, in fact. She's not got blonde hair. She's got grey hair. That is. Is she? Yeah. It's like platinum blonde to me. But... Um. Well. Uh, uh, is there a I story to it? I'm not going to spoil Metal Gear Solid, right. but, but um, that hair is fun. I've said is grey. Right. As you do. Have a pit stun something to the structural integrity of the ship. Yes. <laughs> that is the only conclusion to be drawn, I think. <laughs> Exposing her pits for that long. Look at that, a little bit I of forgot about that. Style. That was a little bit of Matrix, wasn't it? I must, have been, I must have been looking away when that happened last time. And that brings our door to its conclusion. Scouts <laughs> with a surprise. Why does he have to tell everybody <laughs> everything that happens? You're holding a gun. Does that mean you're gonna kill me? Run away from you. That gives you the perfect opportunity to kill me. Go on, Chris. It's a shoot off. Bollocks. Oh, shut this up. Is the, this is the first boss in Battle Gear, which is always a shoot off boss. My parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything. Yeah. All the bad and all the good. Dodgy I McDodge roll. Nothing except the yes. unit. You didn't chuck a grenade Nothing over that floor roll. Uh, uh, don't grenade. have one. So, no. You're very, very ill equipped at the start of this thing. Um, oh, she chucks grenades though, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, she's not messing around. Whoever you are, you're not Shut up! Us. Stop cut scening she does talk a lot, doesn't she, in this fight? Jesus. I don't mind her talking, but taking the control away from me? Yeah, got a problem with that. She. Come on! There she goes. Oh, in the face. No, I missed her. I got her in the chest. Right in the boob. She's got the chest. She's got That was in the head. Oh, nice. Forgot That's about like, that. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, that little that little sidestep uh, thing is really handy in this fight. I forgot about that as well. Yeah, so did I until just now. And I believe if you press <laughs> those sidestep buttons together when you're in first person, you'll go and his tiptoes up as well. Uh, I thought he'd split in half. <laughs> Mint. Anyway. Oh, bigger his tiptoes? He's got by about two foot there. <laughs> well, me he's gone up. He goes <laughs> up. And, yeah. Oh, I'm bleeding. He's got like a kangaroo's leg, but it's like a massive hinge beneath him. <laughs> Right, I need to get my shit together. Don't throw more grenades at me. Are you throwing back at her? Can't do that in this game either. It's not grenade throwback. If it's not got a grenade throwback, lose out. <laughs> I don't think you can I'm, throw grenades. I'm out. I don't think you can throw back in Half Life 2 either. Uh, either. You can. You can with the uh, gravity gun. Gravity gun, you, you oh, pick shit. up the storm as well. Gravity gun. This doesn't count. <laughs> you can pick it up normally as well. Can you? Yeah. If you need lands exit, you can pick it up and throw it back at them. But you oh. have the bear and you obviously fire it straight directly at the face. That was a rubbish idea. Nice. And again? I can't hit her straight away. She's got an invulnerability period. Yeah, invincibility frames. Uh. They're annoying imposters, aren't they? Did we, have, yeah. did we mention that in Annoyances or Boss Battles? No, we didn't. Yeah, I think we didn't. I thought we did. We, I, don't, did we? I don't think we did. It's so not about when they're flashing red, you can't touch them. Well, it's just a special animation, like when you shoot them, then for like 10, uh, well not 10 seconds, a couple of seconds, they're invincible. Oh, she's nearly got, nearly down. Oh, they're tired, are they? Well, she's have had the, got... <laughs> 10 <laughs> tranquilizer darts in her chest. <laughs> she's she's, she's, she's shot a little bit like... sleepy. Oh. <laughs> 
to shut up with half a gallon of ketamine. You should be getting a bit, <laughs> bit sort of drowsy by now. <laughs> Done. Oh no, no. <laughs> I thought I got him. Cosmonaut by now. <laughs> Super. How many bosses are in this game now? Oh man, it's hard to say in this game because um, there's one boss, it's technically a boss encounter, but you can't damage him. So it's not really a fight, you just have to wait until it's over right. and survive. So that's not really a boss fight, but it still is. Like there's a boss bar, health bar comes up. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me think. Oh, now she's going to wit her on again, isn't she? I think there's six or seven in this speech. Room. Should be catatonic. Yeah, considering it's supposed to knock out an elephant. Yeah. Mother Asha, you tranquilize that. <laughs> That's really loud. Yeah, that raid is incredible. Uh, do you want me to turn it down a bit for you guys? No, it's fine. It's just when, when no one's talking, it gets really loud. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's pretty constant for me, so... Yeah, I said my favourite little UAV. Cypher? Cypher? There's a lot of them. Yeah. Otacon. <laughs> The ship appears to be under their control. They might have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? He didn't say that with yep. an exclamation then. He just went, Gerlukovich? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. Oh. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the cipher. A marine cipher T? No, army. First the marines, then the Russians, now the army? Who else is going to get involved? This isn't going to be simple. Ooh, that'll be telling. Snake, there's something yes, I have to tell you. National what? Union of Steelworkers. We didn't dig up this info <laughs> about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never oh, trusted yeah. those. Why would you start now? I remember I, my um, revelation of her bloody sister, sister part last time. Yeah. We have different parents. I only knew her there's, two there's years. a whole You've never Yeah, there's a whole before. um so, help this this helpless e. girl e. around her a level Emma, and there's also I water involved. E. So it's the worst yeah. possible part yeah. uh, the worst possible combination. Eye, you know? It's like the Nevada it of, of gaming annoyances, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's really no one out there I love these games, but the do, the uh, there's no need to put her. shit like that Over in it. Ten years ago. Although I would say that the water the level, like the water section in this know. game, is actually After quite well done tip, for a water section. The Pentagon system we'll see when I get to it. I can't remember it. Annoy me for a snake. Maybe I should say. I've got a light equipped USB. I can take them on now. Turn into a goth. It takes a nine millimeter, just like the Marines M9. Oh, or a vamp. Are you turning it into a vamp, here. rather? Don't raise too much racket with that thing. South Park what vamp. Are you talking about? South Park vamp, per se. Oh, per se, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I forgot about that character. God, bad. Does she drop anything? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you can only get the bosses dog tags if you tranquilize them as well. So if you kill the bosses, well you can't kill her because she's not got over weapons tags, but you can kill the other bosses. Um, oh, Chris. Get it together, man. I know. Right, I don't think there's anything else out here, unless you want the thermal goggles. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to this bit of the game. Shall I get them anyway? No? Alright. I'm trying to remember if they're useful at all. Nah, I'm going to go and get them. They're up, they're up top. They're up oh top yeah, shit, they are, aren't they? They're up there. So, the only thing that's over on the right-hand side is a wet cardboard box of memory. So. <laughs> <laughs> what there? That's what happens when you try to roll up the stairs. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> 
Excellent. <laughs> I think I think it does what you roll down as well. <laughs> That's made my day that. So he's not the stairmaster then. <laughs> No. Not the stairmaster he thought he was. Different scene of stairs. <laughs> You're the one who gave him all the stair kudos. He, he just oh. run down them ridiculously fast. We can't slide down ladders though. No, he can't, which is a bit. Oh, hello. Uh, I didn't actually mean to get off then. Or know how I got off. Nothing there. Now you going off. There's a point of excursion. Yeah. Ladder sliding should be mandatory in all games that feature ladders. End of, like, fucking discussion, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God! For sake. <laughs> What's that guy just doing laps of the map? He's just, just walking around, isn't he? It's like, uh, this is the worst patrol duty ever. <laughs> do you think that was in his little roster of things to do? Walk around the crow's nest twice? Oh shit! <laughs> Shot him, and he. Uh, oh, you're not going to yeah. get all the dog tags anyway, mate. Don't you pretend. No, no, no. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the lesson. This is what this game teaches you: things like don't, don't. try and roll down the stairs. <laughs> don't. Yeah, don't judo roll up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, that's an important lesson for children to learn <laughs> at the age of 15, because this game is a 15. <laughs> Right, where are we going? Down again? Yeah, we're going back going to the engine room, so it's down. Oh, I've got stairs. wet footprints again. Uh, right, so, you, if, if the gun goes off, you're obviously attracting attention to the guards because the pistol you've got is not silenced. Um, so your best bet is to still sneak through with the, yeah, the tranquilizer. Because uh, obviously there's these things you can shoot the controller there for the Shitty explosives, fuck. but there's no point. What's that? Fucking hell. Oh well. You know, you could have waited where you were, the guy would have had a look and then turned around and you could have just tranquilized him from behind. Whatever. Shit! Camera! Do that instead. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh. Well, let's have a nice little look at the dining room. Some dead soldiers yeah, in Some nice condiments on the table. Oh, oh you've spilled the that? sauce. That's cool. Yeah, so the, the, nice the details of it. Every single bottle like, will do that. All. The physics of all the items in the game is... Pretty I like, incredible. It, like it went in the direction, got shot as well, and spread. Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, very. Yeah, I love that. I love the idea that someone sat there and just put all these little touches in. Just <coughs> uh, these games, these uh, I guess Kashima and his and his team, they are obsessed with the detail. Like they're so detailed. All these games. You Obviously, it's hard to see Metal Gear Solid, but it's, it comes more apparent in this one. You can kind of imagine someone um, sit, like sitting, staying back a few hours after after work. Just to do these little touches, showing the mates the next morning. Yeah, yeah. And everyone being that, that's that's yeah. really cool. Again, I don't think I, I don't think any any other sort of game had that kind of detail. Like you shoot a, you know, someone shoots a ketchup on a table, well, and it splatters in the right direction. Oh the man, so that's same again. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go another way. <laughs> I don't know why you're not to the right and going under the lasers. I don't know why you're going through there. Because it looks like that's the better way to go. Jesus Christ. There's a guard. There's no big... Oh, mate. <laughs> in danger, turn into the human spider. It's a bit of a bug, that, isn't it? It resetting when you go up these stairs. That, that's a bit of a cheat, but it ha quite handy for our yeah. purposes, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking of um of games that they've had that level of <laughs> gameplay. Uh, it reminds me of Duke Nukem. Yeah, yeah. It almost felt like in Duke Nukem you could interact with everything in the level. It's a strange comparison, but I guess it's pretty good. Ooh. Nope, oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Snakes, get yourself out of sight now. Enemy search parties are on the way. It's a clearing. These aren't sentries you're dealing with. They're searching for you, and they know you don't want to be found. You can't make some feeble attempt to conceal. Like I am at the moment, sure hiding under a melon. This is a very generic. Search. This, this is a very generic call, isn't it? Yeah, that wasn't a mandatory call. I don't think was it. That was an advice call. No, it call. wasn't. In the nuts. I can't. I think I can't. you can only. Yeah, you can only. 
Yeah, you can only aim up so far, which to be fair is realistic. If you were lying under a, a box of melons, you wouldn't be able to aim all the way up at the ceiling. Did you do that? You'd be able to aim up a little bit though, wouldn't you? Uh, I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, you could tilt. You could, yeah, you could tilt your wrists. Fair do. <laughs> if you use an Oculus Rift, you'd be able to kill them. Well, exactly. <sighs> this is embarrassing. Can I can just take this moment to say you're really good at this game, Chris. If you want. You'd be surprised at how <laughs> easy it is to get spotted in these games. You know. Not Shit. completely. Uh, I have played. I think. It was this one or the next one briefly, and I just got so wound up with it that I stopped playing. I, I, the reason I get wound up with the, this game and these games is probably because it would feel unfair because of the camera angles. It's yeah, but that's the sole purpose of the camera of the, of the radar existing really, because they know yeah. that that. Um, which again is like we said, this game is still slightly in that stopover of the sort of top-down view almost. Yeah. It drive me nuts. This uh, the camera angles and this thing. You know, I wouldn't be able to play it as much as I do appreciate it. And I, it it's a beautifully made game. Uh, the camera angles are completely ruining it for me. It's very smooth as well. That's, you know what? That's a totally legitimate reason not to want to do it. And that's a good reason, yeah. anyway. So. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Back into the storeroom. Yep. Oh, no, he's just falling asleep. But then the guys will go along and kick him awake, so... Uh, yeah. Look <laughs> tiptoeing. Is he going to look under here this he's gonna time? look under there. Right, oh, no. Dude. Oh, no. I would if I were them. Yeah, but you're not them. I guess I'm not. Try and compose now. In the legs. They won't yep. look under there if you try and compose. Like, if you hit him in the leg. Thanks, yeah, mate. Cheers. What, look <laughs> under there? I fucking knew the wood. Run! Look at all the melons, they've all been shot up. <laughs> like it's. <laughs> now I'll just leg it out of this. <laughs> Cram as much food down his throat as he can while he's leg it. Can I, do I go also, down leg here? It, leg, it, leg it down, yeah, down those steps because there was no one patrolling this bit. This is where the camera is, if you remember. There was no one patrolling here. So it might be now, though. Where are you meant to be going? Oh, there um, we go. Just missed someone. Now that, we've, now that we've got the pistol, Lou, do you remember last time we played this, we went to that engine room and there was loads of explosives set up yes. to get into the cargo bit, so you had to go and get the pistol. So you had to go fight the boss to get the pistol, but we're doing it in the right order where we've just gone straight to get the pistol, then to the engine room. The, the aim of the mission is to get down to the cargo hold and take pictures of Metal Gear and Ray and send right. them back to Otacon. <clears throat> There's a dude right there. Yeah, and he ain't moving. He's looking away from me though, isn't he? But there's yeah, another guy patrolling it... though. No! There wouldn't be any point because the other guy would just see me. I reckon if you came out and shot him with a tranquilizer straight away, you could get the other guard too. But. Yeah, to but. Caught. Yeah, I'm, I'm shit as though, aren't I? I See, this is the kind of stuff, it's easy for me to say, oh, you should just do this, this, and this. I'm pretty sure if I was playing it after not playing it for years, I wouldn't be able to do any of the stuff that I'm telling you to do, probably. I won't defend him. I remember getting caught and dying a lot in this Thank game. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. Jeez>. Stairmaster! <laughs> Dude, so badly. So badly. <laughs> Back to Go the back, in, back in the melons! Back to the melon room! They'll never find me here. Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> that was very well timed, wasn't it? It's not even fucking. T it's not even funny how bad I am at this. Very <laughs> good! There's no stealth button. I'll actually do what I intended to do. Oh, shit! Just wait. No, there's there's blood now. There's blood on the floor. See? Oh, they're, gonna, they're gonna definitely come in there. <laughs> if you open the door before he does that, you'll. Oh no, never mind. I closed the door. <laughs> I thought that when you opened the door, it like bashed into the guy. Maybe it's a Metal Gear Story 3 thing. 
Uh, I, well, he wasn't. Maybe he wasn't close enough. Maybe I don't know. What, the AI hacked me? Yeah, he just looked through the way. He came straight down the corridor and turned right instantly. Yeah, because he's got to go down the stairs. There's nowhere else to go in that corridor. Yeah, Lee. Like, if you go down, there's no one. That's the only way you can go in that corridor. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Shoot. With what? Give it a tit. Just you shoot him now. You've got a gun you just... in your hand. If you, if you pop a tranquilizer at him and just let it go, oh, it will eventually knock him out. Did it hit him? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I need to go? Because I'm just going to run to it. Do I need to go back uh, down there? Down, down the stairs. He's <laughs> trying to go to the cargo hold. Down, down to the bottom <laughs> of the ship. Keep going downstairs. No, not that way! You can't get down those stairs. <laughs> At least I've got another ration. Yeah! <laughs> Which you're gonna need in a second. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, where the God. fuck do I go down the stairs? To the left, remember where you wish were a second ago? Oh, down right. Those stairs there! And once you get down the stairs, um, <sighs> I think you're going to the right. But obviously, there's gonna be more guards around, so just. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like it. No! Over there. Where the fuck did you learn stealth, Chris? <laughs> you fucking circus! Is that guy still in the locker? No, he won't go. <coughs> I was wrong. <laughs> I think you might be best if you just sit in this locker and just. It's like an hour. Just right now. Get, get your shit together. Let's go. Oh dear. It is. That's the thing about the caution mode, though. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where the game makes you sort of on edge because you're like, look, I've got, a, I had to wait here, waste time in caution mode, or I go when there's more guards around. So it's like a risk versus reward thing. When you want to move forwards, oh. you know it's because of all the guards. Oh, it's a move. Go into that little alcove! No, never mind. Hmm. See, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, to your, to your left, Chris. No, not, not that way. <coughs> if you want to go back, 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 go back to where you were, you're going, you're going the wrong way. Back to the right. Oh, for fuck's sake, down. you just said left. I know, but and then there's the door. See the door, the red door there. there all right, go. all right. That's what I meant. To Unfortunately, say. it's it's quite hard to follow instructions because it's a second, two seconds behind. So. Oh right, fair enough. Sorry. So by the time you've done it, I've already went somewhere else yeah. about a million so, times. Down the stairs to the left, and then you're headed down to the engine room. Then. Believe. Uh, Nicely done. Freeze. <gasps> I'm not sure if this door's locked actually on this side. Oh, it's, it's the smelly guy with flies. Yeah, yeah, it's where we came up the other way last time. Would you shoot that prisoner? Yes. Yes. Yep. In the notes. <laughs> I think that door might be locked though, so. I think you have to go back up to that lounge area and now over to the other side. Is there significance to this smelly guy? No, I just think there's flat. I don't. I think they're in that room more than with the guy up. <laughs> Fucking hell! Go backwards. Just, just, flies just on shoot him. Freeze. Uh, it's you that's got flies on you now. Snake's the one that's got the flies with him. Yeah. yeah. I think you might have shot yourself, Chris. <laughs> Quite possible. Oh, you mean Snake? Well, yeah. him as well. Oh, either or, both. So, across that lounge bit, to your right, the, uh, the bar <laughs> I love right. that shit. 
That's how I sleep every night. That's how I sleep every night. <laughs> Except I'm against the radiator on full blast, so my face is just like... Where am I going? ...into the radiator, to the right. They're out of that room, not not into the bar area. Like, Just once you get okay. that. Alright. Right, right, and then up or down? Uh, up and then you're going down those stairs. Chris, have you had a head injury since you last played this game? <laughs> I'm playing... <laughs> 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 I thought yes. that was a level exit. <laughs> <laughs> now then. Uh, back at the engine room, you remember this bit with the Vulcan Raven little miniature thingy? Oh Raven. yeah, I thought I'd just crouch just, just for fun. I think you just skipped over it as well. <laughs> oh no, blood! Uh, it's alright, I'm a fucking okay, super soldier this one. It's got nothing. And back in the locker you go. Rest in peace, mate. Little Raven toy there. Good. Oh, right, yeah, go, uh, if you go. One of these lockers in here has that picture of the muscly torso. When you take a picture of it, Snake goes, Good. <laughs> uh, one of the locker doors, I think, has got it in. It's this one here, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's on the front of the door. Close that locker There's to your left. The door already. Hang on. No, close the locker to your left. It's all right. Front. I know nice. what you mean, and I know which one you mean. Just... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey. Just for this, just for the little joke. Good. <laughs> I think you can send that to Otacon, and he'll say something weird when you send the photos over later. I believe you can only send so many photos to Otacon, so you've got to get like. Four of Metal Gear itself, then you can send him some other DAP ones as well. You've not got your good equipment, by the way. Oh, you knocked another one out. You left the other one? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that cool. probably alert them, though, that's the problem. Go and knock them out with a as quickly before they wake up. Yeah, because there's a difference between being knocked out and being tranquilized. And when, they, when they're knocked out, they've got little stars over their heads. When they're tranquilized, they've got Zeds over their heads. <laughs> uh, the Zeds last a lot longer than this, like the stars. Yeah. Nope, oh, he's back up. Shit. Nice. Cool. That was nice. Trank it, trank it. <laughs> I think once they're like that, it will go straight to. Dead, so I think right. he's dead. That one there. Yeah, he's <laughs> about 80 foot. Go stack because you know kill. Fucking run there. Yeah. <laughs> there the should be chips when he fell through that. The great work. <laughs> um. So, how are you doing? Well, you're doing this area a shitload better than you did it last time. You've totally pwned all the guards in this half of the room. I mean, so I do. Guy, go on. Yeah, I do love the control system in this game, um, but sorry, it's a lot smoother. It feels just generally better, doesn't it? Than... Yeah, it's nicer. It's it's one of those Mate. things. That to try, but it's just more. Um, is it fidelity with your movement, where the, the movements yeah. in analog stick are more accurate are than they are me? with the PlayStation One? Oh, I can't shoot him yet, can I? Shit. You can if you want to, it's up to you, mate. Well, no, because it'll alert everyone else, because I haven't got to... Uh, I don't know if he's the last guard in this room, actually. There'd be there's... one... Oh, there's one no, more there down. Was... Yeah, there's one on the other end. Yeah, yeah, so don't... I just thought I'd lie on him. Just getting up close and personal. He's trying to push him through the rails? If he was no. going to drop it, he dropped it by now. Yeah, that roll... It's quite handy as well. That was a bad decision. 
Who's there? Huh? Who's that? What's going on? I got the app. Alright, then when he's unconscious, tranquilize him. What? Oh, an alert, anyways. Oh dear. Shit! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Blokes. Three of them. Shieldies. Oh, get up! He's dead, dead as well. I think when they make that scream sound, that's dead. Yeah. They know they're gonna die so they scream a certain way first. Oh, so many dudes. Them. That was a bad idea. Oh! Yeah, shut oh. up. Yeah, bad idea. That. Shut your face. Oh got shit. You. <laughs> oh you fucked now. Stop saying I'm fucked all the time! Oh, you said it once. You are fucking. You could have trained. That's off rolling through those guys. Just roll yeah, through. Yeah, I did. I forgot about that. I just remembered just just before yeah. you said it. And that's what I was saying. It's quite a handy move. Just roll through guys. You know, like you do in real life. Fuck off. Oh, he's just killing him now. Fuck <laughs> he can't be asked anymore. I'm not, I'm not getting this playthrough, am I, so? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. There's something very wrong with the uh, the way the kind of physics goes when people start, like, doing CQ. What do you mean, like, when they start... Shit. Like when they start kicking and punch each other, like they just fly up into the air and hit walls and stuff. It just looks really weird. Like they suddenly got no mass. You say it looks weird. I say it looks awesome. Maybe it's just because the low quality of the the um, stream or something. But it just looks really weird. So you just like, see snakes suddenly do a roundhouse and someone flies up in the air. At least the AI is not too realistic. I mean, you know, it doesn't always look in lockers and things like that. If it was my job to find someone who just shot one of my mates, I'd look in the lockers. Every locker? Yeah. Yeah, and under every table. And anywhere um, anywhere a human could fit, basically, yeah? And I'd look up as well. Up I think, I, I, actually, I'm th thinking about it. I'd probably check the, the... I'd check the kind of obvious places. I'd check cord, like corridors and stuff like that. I wouldn't assume that someone running away from me would hide in a closet or under a table. I'd assume to keep running to get to maximum distance. I suppose it's best. What'd you say, Steve? I'd use my thermal goggles. Oh, I haven't got them, though. Oh, I have, no. I did go and get them. Actually, I'm not one finding me, so I don't need to use my thermal goggles. They're all got goggles on Ah, now then, because you've got the pistol without a silencer on, make sure there isn't a guy in this room before you start shooting these uh, Semtex controller thingies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just got bored. Yeah. That's so. Now there is a guy, Chris, out just yeah, outside yeah. of the room. Yeah. Just for safety's sake, just get rid of him. He's in the other room. Um, oh. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Thank you. So basically, he repaired that door after you no longer need it anyway. Uh, come right past you. We're gonna see a lot of this little wriggly dance, aren't we? I like the hips that when they do it. It's my favourite bit. Oh, I can't get the dog tag! It's in the wall. Oh, that's rubbish. That's a bit, yeah, that's a bit wank. Try moving the body. I don't know if that makes a difference. Shouldn't do. Oh, did I get it? No, it fell through the oh. level. Oh. <laughs> Wow, good job HD remaster. 
Right, what am I shooting? Right, if you're looking for the... The, uh... Oh, that's control... a lot cooler than the old game. Yeah, definitely. The control boxes for the um, C4, 7x, oh. whatever. Had to have this call anyway. Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right, and they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Oh, yeah, this conversation. Exactly. Yeah. Plastic explosives. They have this exact so same conversation. This is what they were talking about. Looks like it. If you trip the oh, sensor. I'm bored then. Yeah, just yeah. Get rid of it. Right then. Right. So then. It's the, it's the little control boxes. So. Do you know what? Do you remember what they look like? Um. I don't look like, but I can't tell you what they are because you keep moving the screen too quickly. You see that little flashing green light down there? Yeah. It's the it's the control box. So you can see where the Semtex is. Is the sort of beige coloured blocks with the orange lights on it? Not that, but it's a little green box. You might have to move to your left to see it properly. Um, that is it. Move, move, snake to the left, but not obviously through the bloody. Yeah, all right. Place. No, I'm just saying, like, it's, you have to get it at an angle to do it. And you can see it more clearly now. That, oh, I see. Right, the thing in front of the it. Semtex. That's right. the one. Shoot that. There's a few of them, and they're all, some of them are harder to get to than others. But I think they sequentially shut down the thingy. So if you check your um, infrared goggles and see which one that shut down, you can get. You, you need to progress up. Now then, if you go back, see that little. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry, right. I, I know how to do this bit, mate. Someone. <laughs> well, I'm just saying because. I think. I don't know what you remember. That's the one. Oh yeah, I forgot you could walk in this game as well, you don't have to run all the time. And there you go. Now this next bit, this next bit, Chris, is a straight out shooting section, like, um, so if you want to, it's probably easier just to use your SOCOM and kill the guys. I don't know if you want to do it that way or if you want to do the... Uh... Oh, I remember this bit, yeah. Oh, is it? It's around this bit when the shootout bit happens. Yeah, it's coming up. Look how awesome that lighting is. I think there are still some guards in this area before you get to the shootout bit, so just to be aware. I think. Ah, God, there's some... When we get to the briefing room where the guy's doing his little uh, PowerPoint presentation, I think you can... There's a way to upload some of the pictures you've taken onto the screen to make the guards like react in a weird way, but I can't remember how you do it. I'll see if we can figure it out. Oh, he's just going to stand there now, isn't he? Oh, mate, come on. LN. Move! Asshole. Fuck him. Oh, it's pretty dark in here. It looks alright for me, you guys. It's not great for you guys, though. In fact, you know what? It's actually like that on the stream as well, so give me a second and I'll just adjust the. Uh, I'll just adjust the uh, gamma. No, it's not as that dark on my telly at all. All right, okay. Uh, one sec. Yeah, I don't remember it being that dark in the game. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, that's better. That's better. Hopefully, that still works and everything. Yeah. The guy coming from the corner. Yeah, yeah, I see him. He's having a fit. What the fuck's he doing? Is he dancing to music somewhere? He is. He's got yeah. He's got headphones on. That's the guy with the headphones. When you get close, you can hear like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Now then. Shake it, baby. When you shoot him, Don't listen to what happens. Oh! 
He's got that uh, that MP3 player that turns off when you fall asleep. <laughs> it's li <laughs> linked to your consciousness. Yeah. I want one of them. I suppose it's a good energy saving device, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, you know you've got to go all the way around to get to the door you want. <laughs> Plus you've got to have a big shootout bit yet with, with some dudes. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh, I can't move for some reason. Oh, because you're on the. You've had to press X to do the run thing, perhaps? I'm trying. I can't even do anything. It's because um, you, you did it from being against the wall. It sort of locked you onto that thing. There you go. Please don't. So the guys that have a little sparkle on them are the ones with the dog tags. Yeah, that's. So can see that? Yeah. Yeah. If they don't have the little sparkly thing, they don't have dog tags. He had a very, um, very Russian accent for a Japanese man. Those are Russian soldiers. His, his name was Japanese, though. Ah, oh, well, the names are just random names. There are a lot of Japanese names. They're probably names of the people who worked on the game. Yeah. In fact, they're pretty much probably all names of people that worked on the game. This is where it happens. Shooty McShoot times. You might want to get a better gun out, yeah. And I would probably equip your rations as well. Yeah, good call. Not that I need them. No, oh, of course. More, it's more a formality than anything else, really. Just, it's a just in case, isn't it? <laughs> Better safe than sorry and all that. Look at that ass. <laughs> that I, know, ass. I, I think that every time I see him. <laughs> there is no need for that sneaking suit to be quite so close fitting, is there? Really? I just imagine it's squeaking. As he's walking. The special training that they, they go undertake so he doesn't pull the wedgie out. <laughs> yeah, he must get hellish after a while, that. That's, that's why he's chafing it. Hey! He's, he's back! <laughs> How many times have you thought about your Oculus Rift since we started, Lou? <laughs> Constantly thinking Constantly, about yeah. it. He's not well, stopped he's thinking about it. He's actually not wearing any trousers at the minute, he's got a strap to his thigh. You know, we can't see what happens. ORTPS. Oculus Rift thoughts per second. All communications to the holes have been What's your current ORTPS? It's measured in, in units of uh, mega. Units of leet. UOL. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. <coughs> She's dead already. She's dead. She's dead. 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 She's asleep. She's asleep. Which, uh, she'd be dead if, I, dead if yeah. you fired that many tranquilizers into someone. Yeah, they yeah. would die. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but she's able to excrete it from her hairy pits. Yeah, probably. Nothing wrong with hairy pits. Oh. Oh. Shooting times. Oh, look at that roll he just did. Oh, that's not the right way. Are you actually shooting anything? No. Yeah, I would say I would say try and use your first person aim to get him. It kind of auto aims as well as you. It does a little bit, yeah. Go to the lights. No, not me. Oh. They've got thingy sensor stuff on anyway. Yeah, they've got, um, you know, whatever that mission goggles, but so have you. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Throw grenades at you. Twats. You have to sort of progress and go up to that one, then. They'll throw a grenade at you have to go back to the other position until you've killed them all. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn. I keep seeing him as well. Nice. I don't know about you guys, but the sound has gone out of sync for me a little bit. Yeah, it's, it, it's, I've noticed it getting worse. It'll be fine for the stream, don't worry. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'll just it. In case we Whoa. sort of react at weird times and stuff. I'd not seem to be in sync for me. Tell you what, give me a sec. I'll just reset it. It just takes a second. 
crash dead after they go off. No, it's not. It's not as volatile because I'm on the console. My computer's doing yeah. enough, but yeah. Right. Hopefully, see if that's any better. It may not be. Shit. Better, yeah. It's a bit better, yeah. Out of place, so. Yeah, I know, I just noticed that. Uh, that's why I'm going this way. <clears throat> Shit. You can, you've got no time, have you? When it's, they uh, throw a grenade. Very quick. You got any stun grenades in your arsenal? Oh, I do. You can throw one from behind cover, it might help you a little bit. Um, how? You have to lead out, I think, first and then press, press square. Oh, it just throws it on the floor right next to my face. <clears throat> This is all dead. This is all dead. Oh. Well, if it, if it did it, it did. Oh. Uh. Just pressing all the wrong buttons. <laughs> that stun grenade's not helping. Nah, I guess not. That's more like it. Grenade, 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 grenade! I know, I know, I know! <laughs> this is what you want, you want them to all come down here after you. Go! Get them in the kill box. You fat twat! Shoot him whilst he's down. That's what an honourable man would do. <laughs> <laughs> a magic ninja would do. Like shoot him in the face! Me. Oh, nice! Oh, just run out of bullets. Mind you, I did shoot about Perfect. 16 into his face and I didn't need to then. You don't need any more bullets for the rest of this section, so don't matter. <sighs> Is it, would this be a clean place to uh, to break? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we might stop in a minute anyway. Yeah, we're about to go into the um, the main cargo hold, so this is a, probably a good place to stop. Actually, it's, it's a nice little section break. And hey, just go. I'm just gonna lock him in there. I don't want to fight him. Job. Who goes there? <gasps> oh, is this oh, what? Here he is. This is the guy you guys love. The one that's in all the games, and you have to learn to like him. Cause he's gonna oh, show up a lot. Shashaska. What? Oh, Why did he call him? Shashashashla. Because Ocelot's got about hundred names. I know. <clears throat> It's a bit harsh, that, isn't it? He could go, right, uh, you're needed on deck. Or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm relieved of duty. Well, given what Ocelot does in a bit, I don't think it really matters what he does to the soldiers now. But notice how he's got two hands. Mm. What the? the what the? Joining you soon, comrade. <gasps> Comrade. Cliffhanger. Na 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 na. Oh, it's gonna go with. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holes? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. Cost that dude. I wouldn't have been synchronized. To the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. Ooh. Is that a threat? Yeah. yeah promise, is that, mate. Is that a threat or a promise? This bit made me really nervous the first time I played it because there's so many soldiers down there. Yeah. Well, as soon as they spot you, it's a game over, so you can't even fight against them anyway. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? That just reminds me of the tabletop football. 
Space of Handles if you spin all the boots. No, 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 you know the um, the, the, the one where you spin the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Foosball. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right then, so if I've got control again. No. Okay, Snake. Let's go <laughs> Obviously not, it's Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> or talking, or talking. Hey, one death, Lou. I was going to say, despite the atrocity of that, now, that gameplay, I that don't was probably know the worst you you've ever played yet. More often, more because I'm getting a bit more accustomed, well, because the controls are a little bit easier to use, and I'm getting a bit more accustomed to... I can actually shoot people, like, if I if I have an accident or something, you know? Just, like, sprinting them through a gauntlet of gunfire. Yeah, I think you got shot about one and a half thousand times there. If I had it on the hard difficulty, yes, I would have been died about a million times, but I haven't, so... Get fighting rations as you were going as well. Yeah, picking up enemies. Enemies often drop rations, so there's a lot more in this game. Whereas it's, it's a predetermined amount, isn't it, in First Metal Gear? Unless you save at a certain point and then reload that save. Yeah. Or you leave an area and re-enter an area. Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol. So yeah, you know how they were saying always got no traces. Articles just said no. Actually, I have just detected somebody listening in on our channel. But they're not interfering, so I don't really know who they are, what they're doing. Be deep throat exactly. again or something. There's a workstation in the it's southeast corner. It's them, the powers that be. The, the Patriots. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements. I Come on, man! You know that. What do you mean? That's uh, that would be network. probably a little bit more polite, wouldn't it? What do you mean? Sorry. So I could remote install a little what do you mean? Sorry. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, I bet Lou, Lou's sorry. just reading up on Oculus Rift stuff. All That's all do he's do. doing. <laughs> and you are, aren't you? Look, you know, yeah. Look at his face. He's, he's paid absolutely no attention to this game whatsoever. I have. No, you haven't. What, what's just happened? Apart from me dying. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you did die, though. Ah, okay, you were paying some you're attention. Big gun I was pointing out grenades being thrown at you on all like. Alright, alright. It's only because the music was engaging. It's a. The commandant's already begun his speech. But you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you. It's all this! How much time do I That's how you play those instruments, right? That's how you play a violin. That's how you play the big fish, little fish, car, pop, pop. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. How do you fucking hold a violin? <laughs> I you, hold did. you hold it under your chin with your left hand. Okay. How do you, do you hold it? I won't be like a, a badminton <laughs> racket. But that you saw them nearly there, I think. I, guess. Okay. Yeah, I know that they okay. look like they're having a proper hard time playing it, though. We'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay yeah. low. <laughs> anyway, Otacon, thanks for the advice. Yep, cheers, Otacon. We'll do a quick save, if we can. Yeah. But I can't save. <coughs> Do you want to save, Snake? Oh, so there's no more quick save on this. There's no more saves coming in the middle of boss fights and stuff. Mm. Uh. I think the saves might be better in this, so it seems to be when you come into any room. Yeah, you can save any way you want. Um, uh, but obviously, over. for a boss fight, it will start you at the start of that boss fight, not any way you like, like we were doing before. Well, we played 1 hour 13 last time. 1 hour yeah. 14 actually. We played 1 hour 24 and got a much further this time round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Snake. Right, so, yes, that will do, I think. So about three musketeers, blah blah blah, shut up, Otacon. Yeah, something about some irrelevant, some anecdote. Yeah, some anecdotal or philosoph uh, philosophical or whatever. Indeed. So you guys um, actually enjoying enjoying yeah, the, the, yeah. the games? Is it's, it... It's it's entertaining. It's not making me want to play the game myself. No. Same here, yeah. no. But the to thing is, there's, there's a lot of games that I like to watch that I wouldn't want to play. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I am glad I'm watching it because having never played through Metal Gear, and obviously with being such a big franchise, you do feel as though you are kind of missing out. So mm -hmm. getting to watch you play it instead. And play it. Quite comically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that bad, honestly. If you guys, if I, I think it would be funnier if you got. In fact, it would probably be really frustrating if you guys played it because you'd die a lot. I think. I'd just go through it without dying once. Off. Oh, no, right. I, I think Steve's actually right. Yeah, Steve would find a rocket launcher and then just go through the entire game, blowing everything up. That's not how that game. You don't just find. Doesn't the rocket matter. Launcher. No, it doesn't matter. It do, doesn't matter what game it I, is. This, I really, this is really, how Steve plays games. I really, really want one of you two to have a go of 
th this one's a good. It's got a good control scheme. So I think maybe after we've well, finished, tell you what, if, if you bring it to the LAN, I'll have a go of it. Well, I'll, I'll we'll do a recording of it as well. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring. bring... S three. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, Metal Gear Solid Four is the best control scheme, though, isn't it? Really. We might struggle to do uh, to do a recording at the LAN, by the way, um, because we're using the capture stuff somewhere else. So what I'm thinking. Is maybe you could? Oh shit! You'd need a you'd need a plug in like I do and everything, wouldn't you? I we can only really do consoles at my house at the moment, <coughs> unless you did a. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll work some out afterwards. Yeah. But anyway, yes. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, <coughs> one one death. That's got that has to be a record for playing a Metal Gear Solid game for an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. For me, you anyway. Asked, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you did well not to die, but I'm not I'm not going to go stretch to say that you did well <laughs> at playing yeah. the game because basically. <laughs> well, you don't want to be a liar, do you? You know. Yeah, no. Give me some some credit. Come on, just a little bit you of did, credit. You, you died <coughs> once. That, that's the only credit you're getting from me. All right, whatever. Right, anyway, so everyone, thank you very much for watching. Um, this has been Resonance Arcade. We are going to put this live probably next Monday. Um, Watch us on our Wednesday. Uh, shall I put it live today? Bugger it. I'll put it live yeah, put today. It live tonight, yeah. or, or tomorrow or something like that. Um, yeah, so catch us on Wednesdays for our talk show. This week we're talking about... Were we still not entirely sure? No, we... No, yeah, we there was a vague idea of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was a vague idea of why do you play games, yeah. was like I got told. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... that's... Yeah, that, that, that's right. And yeah. I think yeah. I think that's good enough. We could, we could spend so. forever talking about that. Um, and then on Friday... Probably going to be seeing some Gears of War 2 footage from me and Lou. We played a, a bit last Friday. So, it's yeah. fun actually getting into that. Yeah, I, I really, really like the Gears of War games. I think they're uh, in co op as well, the, the good fun because it's a hard game, I think. Even even on like it's easier difficulties, parts of it that are very difficult. Yeah, and it's it's cool to be able to share that experience with someone else, even if they're not necessarily aiding you, like Lou isn't. <laughs> 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 what was that? Nothing. I could tell he, he wasn't listening. Was riff. He's like, ah. <laughs> and then you plug it onto your face and never come off. <laughs> 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 Once you're wired in, you're not new. You won't stop. Right. Yeah. Anyway, actually saying bye now. So thanks everyone, and we'll catch you later. See you later. Bye bye.